Hello again and welcome back to another one and today we have a couple of topics to cover and once again former Eminem associate and Slaughterhouse member turned podcaster Joe Budden had a couple of things to share about Eminem's verse on Parable's remix and this one is quite interesting because there's some self-awareness on his part based on how he came off at one part when he was talking about the verse and of course fans have reacted accordingly which we'll explore in a bit and he also had more to add about Love Game from MMLP2 featuring Ken Kendrick Lamar. And before we dive into the details, if you enjoy content like this, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and find me on social media at etlifestyle underscore web. So we'll start with some excerpts from the show. And when the co-host literally tried to criticize Eminem for actually rapping his bum off on a song with comments like, Eminem, we know you can rap, bro. Joe interjects to say, I think that's an unfair criticism and expands. My beef is with the people that keep letting him do this on their songs. Chop that ish off. Of course, everyone on the panel, including Joe, were aware that will never happen. And Joe adds, but you can't rap for three minutes on my song, dog. And here comes the good part. See, that's just gonna be a consistent theme through this part I see. Like rappers that you just never play around baddies. And he follows that up with some self-awareness. And I know that makes me sound like the shallowest music fan. This is pretty much Gucci main levels of shallow. Remember when dude claimed Eminem can't be the king of hip-hop because you don't drive around in your car with your woman bumping Eminem. Alright, cuz I ain't playing Eminem in my car. Joe was trying to outdo Gucci with that one and he added, he can rap for like 5 minutes on Lil Wayne's song but Wayne is never putting it out without Wayne rapping for 6 minutes. He also added, that will never happen. Hey, rap all you want, cause I'ma do it too. Do it there, don't do it with rappers that are putting out 12 or 16 bar songs. What was it? Was it Nas's album that he did that ish? He just goes off on every feature. Though he admits it's unfair, but the whole discussion is pretty much criticizing Eminem for going too hard on these features. And just like that, Eminem continues breaking records left, right, and center. He's now the first rapper to get criticized for bodying features like Bro Chill, let us win sometimes. But jokes aside, I was just listening to EPMD2 this morning and that Eminem verse has done wonders for the replay value of that song. And right now, EPMD2 is the most streamed song from King's Disease 2, YouTube and Spotify combined. And it's not even a single. Eminem is now criticized for going too hard, but the numbers show that the general public love this. And some believe Joe should know better. Eminem is a pure MC, trying to watch everybody on tracks is the era he came from. Joe of all people should know this. He's also not just in quotes rhyming words, there are literally double and triple entendres with everything he says and he ties the schemes together. You've already heard his life story, now he's passing out to show he's the superior MC. Eminem even ended that verse saying he already told you all of those deep personal stories and I've lived long enough to remember when Eminem used to get criticized for sharing those stories on records. OMG is always talking about his childhood. OMG, we know your dad abandoned you. OMG, always talking about his mom. OMG, we get you a poor. OMG, OMG, OMG. And some have summed this up as, if M doesn't go hard, he will get criticized. If he goes too hard, he gets criticized. Let's just be honest and admit some people hate for the sake of hating, because he isn't rapping like he was in 2010. But I was there. In the 2010s, it was, he's wealthy. Why is he still angry and screaming? The goalpost always moves when it's Eminem and Joe had more to add. He threw this in there for some reason. That M and Kendrick record is high on the list of worst records ever made by two superstars. And he adds, it was a mess. And he also threw in the Jay-Z record in there as also one of the worst collabs by two superstars, although he couldn't even remember who it was and what it was called. It is why he got called out by some like this on the Complexus post. If all else fails and you need some attention, talk about M. That will make the news. How about Jay-Z as well? Joe Button is a marketing genius, guys. Let's all listen to his podcast. On a more serious note, I hope M never changes for anyone, especially Mr. Talk Show host, aka Mr. Emotions. If you match the gender and you say that close enough to Joe, then we can expect another hit. He's not made one of those in years. 
But jokes aside, Eminem fans are lucky to have him still take this serious based on the multitude of opportunities that were presented to him that he has turned down. And you never see him complain about a contract despite the fact that Eminem has earned a billion dollars for Universal. But Eminem is still active as hell to the point he's getting criticized for budding features. You don't have to like every record he put out, but then again, people doing too much when Eminem is involved. That will be all. Share your thoughts below. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.